Welcome grade 9. Today we're going to continue our assault on polynomials. Yesterday in 5.3 we taught or we learned how to add polynomials. So now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to subtract. Now subtracting polynomials uh, is, is basically following the same rules we did when we subtracted integers. Now so you have to think back to how do you subtract an integer. So I want to review that with you so you can see uh, why it works so that when we start telling you to do the shortcut, you'll understand why it works. So let's take a look here. We've got, when you subtract polynomials with tiles, it's completed the same way we did with integers. Now, we had a problem when we were doing integers, we just did ones and negative ones. Now we have to include x's and negative x's and x squared and negative x squared. So we have to expand our tile set. So let's review how to just do integers first. To subtract integers using tiles, you use the zero principle, and we called it adding the opposite. So let's go back and see why adding the opposite works. So here's a simple question. Negative 3, take away negative 5. So if I have negative 3, there's my three tiles. And I want to take away that many. Well, if I only got 3, I can't take away 5. There's not enough. So it's easy to see that we only have three tiles. So we can't take 5 away. So I have to come up with a way to be able to get some more negatives here so that I can take them away. Now, if you remember what a zero is, a zero is nothing more than a positive and a negative tile. So if I add two zeros to this, now negative 3 plus two zeros doesn't change it. So I really haven't changed anything that's there. I've just added um, two zeros. I could cancel these out, take them away, and I still have negative three. But by adding the zeros, you'll notice that I now have one, two, three, four, five negatives. I need to take away five, so now I have enough negatives to take away. So if I rearrange this, this is what it looks like. I've got my two positives, I've got my five negatives, and now I need to take away my five negatives. So can I take the five negatives away? Simple, yep, there they go, they're gone. Now, what does that leave me with? Well, I only have two positives left. Now, this isn't difficult, but it adds extra steps. Now, let's go on and talk about what happens if we just add the opposite. So consider the same subtraction question. Negative 3, subtract negative 5. So there's our negative 3. Subtract negative 5. We have everything the same. Now, what I want to do here is I want to change and add the opposite. Now, see the negative here? Subtract negative 5. I'm going to change this to an add. I'm going to change this to its opposite. Now, remember, the opposite is whatever it takes to get that to go back to a 0. So this is a negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 is a positive 5. So now I have to draw my positive 5s. And all I need to do now that I've got my positive file, sorry, 5 here and my negative 3 here is I can cancel out what I have to cancel out. So these all make 0, and of course when we make 0, they disappear and they're gone from the question. What's left? 2. So you see here that just adding the opposite is easier than adding a whole bunch of zeros. But what actually... Um, took place is the same thing. So let's take a look right here. Here's the same question. Negative 3 minus negative 5. So now we're going to do this symbolically. Right? So negative 3, first thing you have to do is add the opposite. There we go. Now, 3 negatives, 5 positives results in a 2 positive. So we just added an extra step here and we change it into an addition question. So if you don't know how to add polynomials, now's the time to go back to 5.3 and, and really get a strong, strong idea of how to do it. Because what we're going to do in subtraction is we're going to change, change it into an adding question, and then we're simply going to add. So here's a question here. Well, we've got negative, so we've got 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. Subtract x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now notice these are in brackets, so that means we have to change all of this if we're going to do add the opposite. So I'm going to keep the, sec the first one the same. We don't change that one. We're not changing this. We're just adding the opposite to it. I'm going to change to an add. Now everything in here has to change sign. So the x squared becomes negative x squared. The 2x becomes negative 2x. And the subtract one becomes positive 1. Right? So now I can draw my tiles. There's my first polynomial. And there's my second polynomial. 
And all I have to do now is take and make sure we can we can uh, cancel everything. So I'm going to cancel things out here. I got one of those, which is going to cancel with one of those, right? So these two cancel out. I'm just going to uncover everything for a second. So I took brought one over, cancel it out. Right? I still can't do anything with the negative x's because there's no opposites here, and I can't do anything with the positive ones because there's no opposites there. So once this is gone, right, I just have to figure out what's left here. Well, I still have an x squared. That's not changing. But I have one, two, three, four, five negatives. Right? So five negative x's and one, two, three, four, five ones. So plus five. So there's your equation. Okay. Now, it's time for you to start doing something on your own here. I want you to subtract the following. Okay? I want you to use whatever method you think you need to do, and I want you to do that right now. Pause the recording and do it. All right. Now, first thing we need to do, add the opposite. So that becomes a plus. This becomes negative x squared. This becomes plus 4x, and this becomes plus 2. So once I know what add the opposites are, that's, that's what it's going to look like right there. Now, x squared, negative 5x, and negative 4. And over on this polynomial, negative x squared, positive 4x, and plus 2. So I've modeled everything, both polynomials. Now I need to put things together. Well, this and this go together, right? So I can take... I don't know what happened here. Move things over. Um, this and this can go over, and they cancel, and of course, they're gone. Now, taking a look at the x's, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negatives. So the 4 negatives and the 4 positives, they're going to take off, leave me with just the negative x here. And down below, I have the 4 negatives, and I have the 2 positives. So these 2 positives and 2 negatives, they're going to take off. So now all I need to do is to figure out what's remaining. So I've got leftover x's, x squared, sorry. There's no x squared left over, so I don't have to worry about those. How many x's do I have left over? Well, I have one x and it's negative, so I have a negative x here. And I have negative 2. So I've got negative x subtract 2. All right. So now that we've got that going, let's have you try another one. So pause the recording and do this question. All right, here we go. Obviously, rewriting the opposite, I still got negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. That one doesn't change. All right, I'm going to add, and this is going to become a positive 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. There's my add the opposite statement. All right, now remember that if you set up the drawing it can make it easier to start with. So for example, I'm not going to take and draw these separate. Now I'm going to draw them all together. I'm going to take and draw my x squareds together. And then I'm going to draw my x's together. And then I'm going to draw my constants together. So taking a look at the first setup, here's my x squareds, right? I have these two x squareds which are negative and these two which are positive. So they're going to go, leaving me with a positive left over. So I've got a positive 3x squared. Take away two of them. Leaves me with an x squared. Now taking a look at the next set, I've got negative 3 from here, 3x. I've got four positive x's. These cancel, and they go away, just like that one did, All right? leaving me with just an x. And again, let's take a look over here. I've got a negative 3 and a negative 2, negative 3 and negative 2. There's no canceling because there's no positives there. So now taking a look at what's left here, I have 1x squared right there, so it's an x squared plus an x, and then take away the 5. Well, we all know that drawing tiles is a pain in the butt. So let's start talking about doing um, symbolic. Now, symbolic is actually very straightforward, and it's easier, all right? So we have a question. Now, here's the thing. You must ask, you must write down the question, all right? You're not allowed to just start and set things up and do it. Write down the question. Tell me what you're going to do, and then you're going to do it. So here's the question you're given. If it was on an assignment, you'd have to write it down. Now, to do your setup, we know we don't touch the first one. It just stays 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Now I need to add the opposite. So everything here, all these three terms, have to change signs. So this becomes a negative x squared minus 3x plus 3. Now I can add them. 
and negative x and uh, three positive, sorry, negative x squared and three positive x squared leave me with two x squareds. Negative two and negative three is negative five. And five and three is eight. So how am I gonna mark it? Well, if it's an assignment, I'm, some days I actually give you a mark for that, sometimes I don't. So if you don't write it down, you will then get basically not a minus one on the rest of the work. Now, you're gonna be going through this and you're gonna have to add the opposite. So what I'm gonna be looking for is, did you do this correct, this correct, and this correct? All right, that's your setup. And then of course, this, this, and this. So this could actually be um, six marks for here, and it could possibly be one mark for up here. So this, this question could be worth six or seven depending on if you, um, like on a quiz, it would be worth six because you didn't have to answer, ask, you know, write down the question. All right, turn the page. All right, pause the recording and I want you to do question A. First thing we need to do is write down our first one, 4a squared minus 3a plus 5. So we write that down. And now we're going to add the opposite. 3a squared becomes negative 3a squared. 5a becomes negative 5a. Negative 4 becomes positive 4. And now I can add. 4 and negative 3 gives me a squared, 1a squared. Negative 3 and negative 5 is negative 8a, and 5 and 4 is 9. Okay, pause the recording and do B. All right, again, first one never changes. This becomes negative 10r squared. This becomes positive 6r. And this becomes negative 12. Now, a negative 10 and a positive 5 gives you a negative 5r squared. 6 and negative 2 is 4r. And a negative 12 and a 7 is a negative 5. Okay. I want you to pause the recording and I want you to do both C and D. All right, so to set this up, copy the first one down. This doesn't change. Now everything in here has to change. Now you notice everything's kind of out of order here. So what I've done is I've changed it so that the degrees are all in place. So I did my 4k squared plus my 7k minus my 5. I changed my degrees here, or my, my polynomial and put it in its proper format with degrees. So now I need to take a look at what these are. This is going to be a negative 9. This is going to be a positive k, and this is 3k. And this is going to be a negative 7k squared. So I've got negative 7k squared. I've got positive 3k, and I have negative 9. Now these can be put together. Negative 7 and 4 is negative 3. 7 and 3 is 10. And negative 5 and negative 9 is negative 14. All right. Now, this one's in order, so I don't have to remove and move it around at all. And so I just have to go straight to my add the opposite. This is negative 17g squared. This becomes po a negative 12g. And this becomes positive 6. The 27 and 17, and a negative 17, that's, neg that's positive 10, sorry. This becomes negative 25g. And 7 and 6 are 13. I hope you're getting it. Now, here we go with the next question. Just like on an achievement test. This time, what they're doing is they're forcing you to do um, an unknown right and the unknown in here is not asking you for a perimeter it's asking you for what is the unknown but you have to remember that a perimeter is what happens when you add all three of these things up so i've got to be able to add that up that up and that up and i should be able to get that perimeter right there now in order to find this out i'm going to do a little bit of a, a sort of a, a parallel question here all right if i know the perimeter is 10 Right? I know this is 2, and this is 4, and this is my unknown. How do I find this, the, what the unknown is? Well, if the distance all the way around the outside is 10, in order to find this, I've got to take 2 and 4, right? and I can take the 10, and I have to take away whatever the 2 plus the 4 is. Well, this makes 6, and of course, 10, make, 10 take away 6 is 4. So you see the process I did here. I had an addition, right? And then I took the total, which is my perimeter, and I subtracted what the sum was from my addition here. And of course, then I got my answer. Now this same process is going to work over here, except that instead of having whole numbers, we're going to have polynomials. So my first step is to understand that the unknown is going to be equal to the perimeter 
subtract the sum of these two sides. So if I take and write this all down, it's going to look like this. Here's your perimeter, which is up here, 3x squared plus, sorry, minus 2x plus 5. I'm going to take from that this plus that. All right. So I've got a big set of brackets. I'm going to take and add these two together. So that's my first step. I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to put down x squared plus 2x minus 1. Right. And then I'm going to put this right under, make sure everything lines up. So there's my second polynomial, x squared minus 3x plus 2. And now I can do my addition. x squared and x squared is 2x squared. Positive 2x and negative 3x gives me minus x. And 2 and minus 1 is 1. So now just like we have, we've added our 2 here, we added our 2 here. So taking along the next step, I have to take my perimeter, which we know is that, and get that from the top, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5, and I'm going to subtract 2x squared minus x plus 1. So it's going to be subtracting. So remember, when you subtract, you have to add the opposite. So I'm going to take and subtract this. So I have to take the, the positive 2x squared. It's going to become a negative 2x squared. This negative x is going to become a positive x. And this positive 1 is going to be a negative 1. Now I can add my columns. 3 and negative 2 gives me 1, or just x squared. Negative 2x and 1x means I have a negative x left over. And 5 take away 1 is a 4. So my unknown length here is going to be x squared minus x plus 4. All right, so that concludes Lesson 5.4. If you have any questions, come and see me. If not, watch it again, and hopefully you'll be do, do well on your assignment. Talk to you later.